Hi guys, it's me, Jenny, and I just wanted to come on and share a couple of things with you guys. Um, uh, there were a couple videos back, I had shown some of the materials that I either purchased or were sent to me in Happy Mail. Um, and I was really excited about all of this. So as you can see, I made some bows, but in order to make the bows that I really wanted to make, I had to order a couple on Amazon. So it took forever, I will add. It was definitely no prime thing going on. Um, this one I already had, it's a poodle. Oh my gosh, I think I got it in a D-stash. Um, and then these are the bows that I got on Amazon. So I ordered this one. Actually, this one came from Prime, but it still took like a week to get here. Um, then I got this one, and then these little... I didn't realize they were so small. If I knew they were this small, I would have never gotten them. Like, this one is tiny. Where is this one? Look at the... I mean, it is super cute, but you know how hard it is for me to do little things like this. But, I mean, come on. That is just too darn adorable. <laughs> So anyway, so let me show you the goodies that I made with these bows. Um, I definitely recommend them because it cut like butter through every fabric I used or whatever you want to call it, faux leather. Um, so obviously the blue one, <laughs> this one, I just could not help myself. I thought this was absolutely adorable, but I think what I might do is cut it out in like um, a... 110 pound cardstock so that it's sturdy in the back and it's not so floppy, flippy floppy, you know what I mean? But how stinking cute is that? Oh, I fell in love with this, so I'm going to do it in all different kinds. <laughs> so I did that one, then obviously you saw the blue one, and then I did this one. Now, I don't know if you can see it in the camera or if the camera will even pick it up, but it's this incredible blue with like a, not even a light pink, but just like this beautiful pink. The blue comes through more than the pink and that's why I did the pink with this just to pull out, you know, the pink, but it is just stunning. And then obviously silver. So I love the way that one came out. Um, and then this one, love the colors together and I love the bow. I really do. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel with this part, but I think it came out adorable. I didn't put dangles on um, a lot of them. I think I only used uh, dangles on three because I didn't think of it until the last minute because <laughs> I'm a ding dong. So before I put the um, wraparound piece on, I, I put the dangle on real quick. I love this one. I think this one's awesome. You can use it with or without this bow, but I, I just like the whole thing together. And then obviously, like I said, there's the blue and pink on this one. So I put the blue dangle on here to pull the blue. And I just thought that came out adorable. Um, and then we have this one. So super cute, right? I think so anyway. Um, and then I made this one and you could do it with one or two. I mean, however you want to do it there, it'll be your die. So <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just did everything for the first try. I figured, you know, if I'm going to go for it, I'll just go for the gusto. All right, now this one I would have to do. Um, well, first of all, I don't like the piece I put in the middle. I don't know what the heck I was thinking. But along with the other one for the poodle, I'm going to have to do like a, a stronger backing so that it's not so flippy floppy. But look at how cute this is. I, first of all, love the um, print. And that is this big sheet right here. Like, how pretty is that, right? Ugh. I'm loving it. So that's this one. Um, then I use this one. I was really super excited because I just think this is so awesome. Um, so I used that one and this came out really super pretty. I kind of screwed it up. I think though. Um, well, no, I guess not. It's just not that long underneath. So but it's, I love it. I think it's super, super pretty. So I cut these out and then I, there was a, um, oh, where is it? I don't even know if I have any more left. Do I? Uh, I don't think so. No, 
but this is like a like a mermaid print one like I don't know how to explain it and this is actually um, from an AliExpress bow it, it wasn't um, one like this it was like a regular like thinlet I guess you could call it and it actually worked I will say it somewhat cut through so on the back I just took a scissor and just kind of cut the rest of it out where it wouldn't come out so where all these some pieces like see here if what I'm trying to say like, see how some of those are on the side are out, but then some aren't. That's because it didn't cut all the way through. But I still like the way it came out, and I didn't want to waste it because I think it's beautiful. Um, so I did that one. And then this one I just think is so super pretty. So this was on a roll that I got from Hobby Lobby, but it's hanging up over there, and I'm too lazy to get up. So, <laughs> but um, And again, this was another bow from, uh, I want to say AliExpress. And, um, yeah, so it didn't cut completely through, but it cut enough where I could take the scissors and just follow the outline on the back. Um, and then I cut it out that way. So, and then I just put the word love on it and I just think that came out so pretty. So, um, I have absolutely no idea what the links are. <laughs> if you really can't find it and you need it, please let me know. And I will try to link it below for you. Um, but honestly, all I did was put um, bow dies in the search, and then a bunch of these came up. So, and oh, and then if I couldn't find one that was like this, like you know, this kind of die, I just put like Sizzix bow, and then it would come up with the like the boxes is what I call it. Um, these are not all Sizzix, obviously. These are like this one is called Jig Jigs Cut. Oh, this is the same thing. So yeah, I mean, generic, but it works. <laughs> um, and I had one of them. I think it was this one. Um, it actually fell out of here. The glue came undone. So all I did was put E6000 on it and then put all of these on top of it and let it sit overnight. And it's absolutely fine. There's no issue. So yeah, so these are the um, bows. Like I said, this one, the poodle one I had already had in my stash. So I just wanted to come on and show you the couple of bows that I put together. I think they are super adorable. Um, and then I also wanted to show you, guys, I was so excited about this. So my brother, God bless his heart, most of you know he became a deacon back in May. He had his ordination. Um, and we're all so super proud of him. So he ordered, um, he got candles and he wanted certain colors. But in order to get the colors, he had to order a box of 12 of every color or he couldn't get it and get it for the price. And the price was insane. So he did. And then he told me that I could take, you know, one or two of each color <clears throat> because he's going to give them out <clears throat> to his, um, you know, his, his uh, friends, whatever. Deacon friends, priest friends, whatever. So I was excited because they're, the colors he picked, are you ready? Pink purple, white, right? Like, <laughs> this is so right up my alley, blue. So I took a candle out. Look at this, right? And I was playing around with it to see what I can come up with, obviously for my bedroom so I can light them because I think they're beautiful. And then I thought maybe I could sell them, right? Well, this is pretty, right? Let me know what you think down below. But <laughs> look what happened. <laughs> Such an idiot. So the color is actually because of the plastic, but I was down here. It was nighttime. The lighting down here sucks, guys. Like, it's so bad. So anyway, I was sitting here, and, like, part of it here, and that's why this is cut out, um, was, like, it was ripped and torn. So I thought, oh, and during the night, and I don't know if you can see it, it still looks like it's purple. So I thought... The glass was purple and this I would have to cut off. But then I got pissed because I'm like, oh my God, I just wasted all of these flowers, right? Well, <laughs> then I realized, oh my gosh, because as soon as I tried to go around it and I realized this is going to be awful, I have to take the whole thing off. I was eventually going to just cut it off and then cut around it and then glue it back on the actual glass. Well, when I took it off, the glass is clear and that's what you're left with. So I think what I might be able to do so that I don't 
waste this because I think I will cry if I, if I have to throw it away is again, just cut it out, take a new candle and then just glue this on to the purple plastic piece that actually stays on the candle. Like, but can you imagine guys? I was so upset. I was like, Oh my gosh, this came out so cute. And then I stupidly <laughs> tried to do like a cluster here and then over here so that, you know, but it, it just, it wouldn't have worked. And, uh, but at that point I just took the scissor and went right up. I was so pissed. Um, but let me know guys, seriously, like, is this something you would purchase for me or would want to purchase it or even maybe even get it as a, as a happy mail? Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to think of, of things that I can do and, um, honestly sell to make a couple of bucks so that I can continue to keep crafting and you know, like all that stuff. So let me know what you guys honestly think. If it's something that you're, you're like, uh, Jenny, don't even bother. <laughs> Please be honest, be kind, but be honest. Um, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I am going to try to salvage this so that I can do it. I want to do, um, this one and then a white one with the purple flowers so that I can have it in my room. I think it'll be really, really pretty, but all right. Well, let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if you guys have any of these, um, bows that I got. If you like these bows, um, you know, just leave me your opinions, guys, you know, the deal. <laughs> all right. And again, if you want the links for the dies, I will try desperately to get them for you. But honestly, just look up bow dies on Amazon and they'll pop up everywhere. Um, so yeah. All right. I hope you guys are doing good. I will be back on very soon with the most amazing happy mail. I love yous and I will talk to you soon. See you in my next video. If you like the video, please give it a, a like. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. We would love to have you as part of the family. Bye guys. Have a good one.